Good morning, SCA. Welcome to Lion Week. I'm James. And here's what's been happening in Virtual Week 33. In Arkansas, Governor Asa Hutchinson's April 19th press conference, new statistics on COVID-19 infections and testing in Arkansas were released. Of Arkansas's population of 3 million citizens, 1,781 have been infected with the COVID-19 virus to date, with 1,020 currently affected. Of those infected, 721 have recovered and 40 have died. To date, 237 healthcare workers have been infected. Of those, one has died and 115 have recovered. There are currently 88 Arkansans hospitalized and 25 of those are on ventilator. President Trump has announced a plan to gradually and carefully reopen the economy. States are given guidelines for reopening and have considerable leeway in determining their timeline. Governor Hutchinson has set a goal for May 4th to start lifting restrictions that have been in place since March. Our principal, Ms. Sharon Stewart, would like to inform everyone that the daycare is open for children of those parents who are still working. The scripture of the week is, But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3. I encourage you, whether you are a student or a parent, to watch our virtual chapel videos that are published daily. Just like Lion Week, you can find our virtual chapel videos on the SCA YouTube channel at youtube.com slash swchristian. And now it's time for Quarantine Cuisine with Blaze Simon. Hello everyone, I'm Blaze, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really good looking apple pie. So of course, we're going to start with apples. I'm using Granny Smith apples because they were on sale at the store, but you can use any apple that's crispy. And we're cutting it into slices so it can fit better into the pie. We're using lemon zest here because it adds a good freshness to the pie. And also lemon juice. You can omit the lemon juice if you want to though, but I think it adds a good flavor. As for spices, I added cinnamon, cloves, and nutmeg. You can add pretty much any apple pie sort of spice that you want to though, in whatever quantity you want. And for the sugar, I added three quarters of a cup. You can add less though if you're not using lemon juice or you're using red apples. And next you just mix it up until all the slices are evenly coated in the other ingredients. For the pie crust, I used Pillsbury pie crust. It's the best pre-made crust that I've tried so far, and you can get it at pretty much any grocery store that you go to, and I highly recommend it. I wanted mine to look like a good diner-style apple pie, so I decided to do a lattice pie crust, which is the fancy little lines. But it, I promise it's easy. There's lots of tutorials online. You just cut out strips of your pie crust and just lay them in alternate orders. And that's pretty much it. For the top crust, I'm also adding an egg wash. It gives it a good crispy brown texture on top. And also some granulated sugar because I wanted more texture on the crust as well. And this is going into a 365 degree oven and that's a preheated baking pan that I left in the oven the whole time so I can make sure the bottom crust gets good and crispy. After 45 minutes your pie should look something like this and it turned out really good and I really hope you make this recipe. Thanks for watching! <laughs> the joke of the day is what kind of jokes does the CDC make? Inside jokes. <laughs> we thought we could ask a few students how they like to pass the time during quarantine. So we came up with a little segment called Pass the Quarantine. What I like to do to pass the quarantine is take better care of my skin. Pass time by reading a book. It's time for Meet the Pets. Introducing one of my pets. This is Sadie. She is a Texas healer, so she's an Australian Shepherd and Blue Healer mix. And she's four months old. This is my cat, Chloe. Chloe! Chloe! What are you doing? We got her about two months ago, maybe three. And she's a three-year-old cat, so she lives with us. This is my dog, he's a four-year-old Jack Russell Terrier, 
And some of you might recognize him because about three years ago, he was a stray dog at one day in the school. And one day I took him home and he's been here ever since. If you would like to introduce your pets, you can send in a 20 second or less video at lionweek at swchristian.com. We would like to take the time to celebrate all the birthdays that have come since we've started having school from home. Cassandra Panita, Kaylee Glenn, Dean Couples, Trinity Strickland, Havana Santis, Grace Kaysen, Jacob Woodall, David Cazares, Kelsey May, James Rasden, Addison Wolf, Malik Blake, J.C. Avila, Mauricio Martinez, Harper Jenkins, Jackson Camphausen, Raya Allison, Stephen Boggs, Mateo Garcia, John Arthur LaRue, Paul Rowan, Tabitha Arredondo, Zion Hunter, Elijah Richardson, Brooklyn Duggins, Jesse Scribner, and Tyler Wickerst. Do you have any interesting talents you want to be shown online week? If so, if you can do it in 10 seconds or less, uh, we would love to see it. Just turn your phone into landscape mode and then set it on a table or a tripod because we don't want any shaky videos and capture your 10 second talent right now. Turkey calls, handstands, and yes, even TikToks are all great ideas. So record them and email us at lineweek at swchristian.com. It open, it's open to SCA students of any age. Your ticket to become famous is waiting. That's all we have for this week. I hope you have a great one. Go Lions! Lion Week producers are Mary Keaton Renner, James Stewart, journalists Kaylee Glenn, Zoe Moody, Havana Santis, and Dawson Wall. Photographers Cassidy Fisher, Joshua Guerra, Rachel Woodall, Braxton Jayer, and Logan Oates. Here, James Stewart, and our editors were James and Thomas Stewart. This has been a production of the AV Lab Southwest Christian Academy, copyright 2020.